this still fulfill you after 17 seasons? It's just fun. It's still a fun job. You know, I've been so lucky. I've enjoyed a couple of great careers, really three. You know, as a prosecutor and then as a judge in the family court. And then here, I enjoyed going to work every day. And it's, each of those jobs were fun the day I said goodbye. He doesn't owe you any money. Fun for Judge Judy Scheinlin, but as millions know from watching her TV show, less fun for the defendants and plaintiffs who appear in her courtroom. Miss Howard, move on. I watched her pretty much verbally destroy people where they just stand there like babbling idiots at the end of it. So all I have to do is sweep them into a dustpan, take them out, and toss them. I don't sugarcoat it. And I say, you know, you were wrong, you were right. Don't tell me you took two sips when you, took, you told the cop three shots. What was it? That's not harsh. Did it cause embarrassment? Maybe. Well, then you don't lie. She can't stand a liar and can read right through people spinning a tale to save their rear. The most important thing about the truth is if it doesn't make sense, it's usually not true. So you start with that as a premise. It doesn't make sense to you and your common sense. It's usually not true. That's impossible, sir. I mean, it's, it's impossible that nobody was there when you were making the turn if he hit you. Sometimes a liar is easy to spot. There are certain people, unfortunately women, who have sometimes wear low, low things. When they lie, this gets all red, bright red. Oh, and, they, and you can't do anything about it. People stop me in the airports and every place, you know, what's she really like? I go, what do you think? And they go, well, I, I, I think she's mean sometimes. I go, yeah. And they go, I think she's right on. I go, yeah. <laughs> the young people who watch, maybe will say to themselves, listen, life is a, really not a very long journey. It's a relatively short journey. If I do it right, it can be fulfilling. And if I make wrong steps, then I can end up behind the eight ball and sometimes I'll never be able to get myself out. You're very unafraid to speak your mind. So I'm wondering what was it about your upbringing that made you that way? What kind of environment did your parents set for you that you were just so able to feel comfortable in well, speaking your of, mind? Well, first of all, you, you weren't always able to speak your mind. This is a particular kind of venue, mm -hmm. job, where I'm able to speak my mind. I'm able to tell the truth as I see it. I'm able to make judgments as I call them. Excuse me, step up. She does credit coming from a strong family of men and women. Her father thought she'd become a politician because she liked to argue so much. It was a good kind of upbringing. It gave me a confidence. In, and when you have confidence, that's the best gift you can give a child. At 70 years old, she still is holding off retirement. And if the viewers the people who are watching, who are really my appeals court, say, listen, we've had enough. We've gotten the lesson. We've gotten the message. I'm fine. We're going to find something else. There will come a time when that happens. But right now, I still think that people are getting a message. It's that message of doing the right thing that Shinelin hopes people will take away from her show. And you don't drink and get into a car. That's the message. And if you use a jet ski and you damage it because you were drinking and playing around, then you're supposed to fix it. But as she would say, she's not stupid. She knows her no-nonsense style is what keeps the masses hungry for more and coming back. There are folks that think that I'm too harsh. They watch. But this is the television business, so if you, as long as you're watching, that's a good thing. He's not your roommate. He's the father of your two children, and you were starting a business together. Whether it worked or didn't work, good. Bye. Thank you. Lindsay Allen, WDRB News.